Welcome again. Today our topic on digital design course is decoders. A decoder is a combinational logic circuit that has n inputs and maximum two to the power n outputs. The general logic diagram of a decoder is as follows. Usually we have n inputs and at most or maximum two to the power n outputs. And we say that we have n two to the power n decoder. For example, one to two decoder or two to four or three to eight, four to 16, etc. Usually only one of these outputs is uh, high active and all the other outputs are zeros. A decoder has usually one additional enable input. When the enable is zero, all the outputs are zeros. If it is one, only one of these outputs is equal to one, depending on the state of the input. Suppose, for example, we have two to four decoder. If enable is one and the input is zero, zero, then this output will, will be one. If we have zero, one, we will have one here and all other outputs are zeros. If we have one, zero, this output will be one and all the others are zeros. And if we have one, one here, then this output will be one and all the other outputs are zeros. For example, here is the block diagram of two to four decoder. We have two inputs, A1, A0, enable, and four outputs, Y0 to Y3. And we say that uh, the decoder is two to four decoder. To design the decoder, we have to obtain first the truth table. Do you see if enable is zero, then all the outputs from Y0 to Y3 are zeros. Regardless of the inputs A0 and 1. If enable is 1 in all these states, then if we have 0, 0, then the output Y0 is 1 and all the other outputs are. If 0, 1, the output Y1 is 1 and all the other outputs are zeros. If 1, 0, then Y2 is equal to 1 and all other outputs are zeros. And if 1, 1, then Y3 is equal to one and all other outputs are zeros. From the truth table, it's very easy to derive Boolean functions for the outputs. As you see, Y3 is one only here. If uh, A1, A0 and E are equal to one. Y2 is one if A1, not A0. Y1 is equal to one here if it enable input is one and we have zero one, not A one, A zero. And Y zero is equal to one only here if E enables one and not A one, not A zero. Having these logic functions for the outputs, it's very easy to draw the logic diagram for the decoder. Here is the logic circuit for the decoder two by four, we have four AND gates. So the decoder is just an array of AND gates. And we apply all the states of the inputs to the AND gates to derive the outputs. E enable is applied to all AND gates. So if E is zero, then all the outputs are zeros. Now if E, if one, the output depends on the states of A, 0, A1. For example, if we have 1, 1 here, then 1, 1, then only Y3 will be 1 and all the other outputs will be zeros. If we have, for example, 0, 0, here 0, 0, 0, and here we will have 1 on zero zero so if we have uh, again if we have zero zero then here we have one 
we have zero one here on y one we will have one on one zero on y two we'll have one and on one one we will have one on y three the number of and gates in the decoder equals to the number of outputs if we have n inputs we will have array of n inputs from the input states and one additional input from the enable signal any boolean function can be implemented using decoder for example if we have function one equals sum of min terms one three four and six it's very easy to implement it using decoder. We have three variables here, so we need three by eight. Here, yeah. three by eight decoder. We apply x, y, z, and here are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the outputs. Now the function is the sum of term one, three, four, and six. These uh, outputs are applied to an external OR gate to uh, obtain function one. If we have another Boolean function, so for example, F2, the only thing we need it's just additional OR gate, and we apply the proper outputs from the decoder to the OR gate. If we have several uh, logic functions, implementation using decoder and external OR gates may be less in cost than using basic logic gates. High order decoders can be implemented using low order decoders. For example, a, th a three by eight decoder can be implemented using two by four decoders, four by 16 decoder can be implemented using three by eight decoders, etc. Here we have an implementation of, of uh, three by eight decoder using two decoders of size two by four. Here two by four decoder, the first decoder and the second decoder. As you see, we apply two inputs to the decoder, the third output is applied to the enable input of the first decoder, and the complement of it is applied to the enable input of the second decoder. For example, uh, if we have here zero, then all these outputs will be zeros, since the enable is zero. If we have here one, then all these outputs will be zero, since the enable input for this decoder is zero. Suppose, for example, we have here zero, one, one. Since we have here zero, then all these outputs from the first decoder will be zero. And here one, one. And the enable here is one. So we'll have here one, and all these are zeros. This is the output of the decoder. Suppose, for example, we have here one, and here zero, zero. Since one is applied here as zero to the, all these outputs will be zeros. And here we have zero, zero. Then this output will be one and all the other outputs will be zero. And all these outputs will be zero. So in this way, a, a three by eight decoder is designed using two, two by four decoders. Here, four by 16 decoder designed using three by eight decoder. Again, we have two uh, three by eight decoders. So we have 16 totally, 16 outputs. A3 is applied in direct form to the enable input of the first decoder and in complement form to the enable uh, input of the second decoder and the three inputs are applied to both decoders again if we have here zero then all these outputs will be zeros 
and one of these outputs only will be one depending on the state of the inputs. And if we have here one, then all these outputs will be zeros, and only one of these outputs will be one depending on the states of the inputs. In such a way, we can design higher order decoders using less order decoders. Decoders are used in different computer and electronic components. For example, memory address register is just a decoder. It is used to select the address memory location. In this case, the address is applied to the decoder input. The activated single output reads the contents of the specified location. For now, thank you.